Brother Joe never had a lie. He became a manic guy. Started What's up, boys? Classic morning. We're going down to the takeoff in the elevator right now, but we ready. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be sick. Jay's gonna get the shots for you guys, but let's roll. Let's check it out. We got a little mob, boys. Oh, Bert. <laughs> We made it guys. Just watched day one at Grand Lake take off for the classic. It's amazing out here guys. Everyone's all hyped up. We watched the boy Milliken. Let's get it today. I wish I was out there fishing, but I ain't. But uh, we're gonna keep it rolling guys. We're gonna go check out the expo. I'm gonna show you guys some cool glide baits, some new products coming out. And uh, we're hyped man. We're having a kick ass time out here and it's cool out here in Oklahoma. So stay tuned guys. We're gonna show you guys all the goods. What's up guys, we made it into the expo. It is badass in here. Look at the Jag. I've already seen it. We already seen Big Boss Davids, but we're out here. I'm gonna go check out some glide baits. Gotta hit the Sixth Sense Waterland booth. We got a lot going on, so let's stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys some new products, the new cats. We got a little bit of everything going down out here. So super awesome, we're hyped, and let's keep it rolling guys. Got, uh, got my hairy balls, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we out here at the 24 Classic. Got a brand new hover stroll head for you, the Hover Missile. Show you guys out of the package right there. Got the nice missile design. And the way this is designed, it's going to allow you to rig your spunk shads perfectly straight on there. If you run that toothpick through the head, it's going to say on there straight. Keep your baits lasting long. They're available right now, guys. CopperStateTackle.com. What's up guys? We up. It's early. We all slumped, but uh, day one was a success. Uh, had a great time at the expo. Watched takeoffs. Uh, today we're about to do the same thing. We're gonna go watch some takeoffs, get there a little earlier, get some better shots for you guys. But uh, it's been fun, man. It's been fun. The wind's ripping a little bit right now. A little front moving in, so see how it affects the guys fishing out there. But overall, been a good time. Getting ready to leave right now. We're gonna go get big man up and uh, we're gonna keep it rolling, guys. Stay tuned. Let's go. No. Oh. It's all hammer trap, dude. These things are fire. These things are fire. The MR12. Oof. Oof. What else we got, dude? What else? Oh. Look at the little rat, bro. We got these right now, too. Will said those are fire. A little Catchco bull rat. <laughs> I don't know about this thing though. A little, <laughs> I don't even know, bro. That thing's wild though. A little softy. Oh. 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 I like that. That keeper is freaking beastly. That's different. That's nice. So, look at that. So, basically, you have the same concept as the coach. Okay. So, you got the weight that goes down the um, shank of the hook and that nice, that tight um, wall. Okay. A skirt will flare out. Like I said, on, on the compact ones, you get a little bit of trim on the skirt. Okay. Okay. It's just the uh, tush That's hook. just the tush on there. Yeah. You got it. Oh, that's pretty nice though. Yeah. I like that. Instead of running a jig head, and they stay on there good. Stay on there better. Oh, yeah. That's you got pretty all cool. That last. That's yeah. a little sneak they, tip right there. They stay on there good. That little. Oh, that, super that thing ain't going nowhere. So this is it. We have an eight 
touchdowns and a oh, wow. 28 down. So you don't have to go uh, with your uh, O ring anymore. Mm -hmm. You just run we that. We got an oversized hitchhiker <laughs> made. So, I mean, if, even this thing's been screwed on and off 20 times. Yeah, yeah. It's not coming off anywhere. Right. We have, we've started experimenting with new and weird ways to rig and different things. Right. Just so new. But that, I like that. Most of these weighted wacky hooks have to wait farther up in that little ball. Yeah. When they fall, they turn over and fall like this. Right. This will fall with the weight being down. You get the full gap, which is okay, right. full, and you don't have a number four hook, which is nice. Okay. It's a one out hook, and you still get that wiggle waggle like a normal wack, wacky hook would. Oh, wow. One twenty eighth is just enough weight to hold the the yeah. striker. And then the eighth ounce allows you to fish it just like an all the wacky hooks, but right. at a much deeper depth. Uh, I think these things are I like that. No. I like that. What hook is it? It's a custom made VMC hook. Shell. All right, now let's go to work. Pack a lunch. Come on. That, 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 do that dance, who got damn, who that man, I feel a brand new. One of four men in the this is the best man for a league series, but he's the only Canadian with multiple best man for wins. You're ready. And the Fendi, Bassmaster Classic Champion, the great Canadian Snow Leopard, Jeff Gustafson. All right, guys, that's a wrap for day two. Had a good day at the expo. Just watched my first ever Elite Series weigh in, and it was a good time, guys. Uh, some of our guys didn't do as good as we hoped, but it's all right. There's next year. Uh, but yeah, keep it rolling. We're going to go check out the expo for a little bit tomorrow, and then. We're going back to AZ. I'm ready to go fish, ready to get out of this cold. Peace out, guys. Right now, we're going to go roll, go meet up with our boy Clifford, talk about some Suzuki outboards, and uh, we'll keep it rolling. If I got some more cool stuff, I'll show you guys. And uh, we're just trying to get some info. I spent too much money on glide baits this weekend, so we're not shopping today. I'm done, man. I'm done. Uh, but let's keep it rolling. Let's go see Clifford, boys. All right, guys, we're pulling up. we at the Suzuki booth right now. A boy Clifford's talking with David over there, but uh, we're gonna go over there and he's gonna give you guys a little rundown on on these Suzuki outboards. I mean, they're a little more low key of a company, but uh, let's check it out. I know they're bulletproof, so let's see let's see what Clifford's got to say about them, boys. Hey guys, Cliff Perch. I'm here at the Bassmaster Classic, hanging out with the guys at the Suzuki booth. Just wanted to give you a heads up: the folks at Copper State Tackle are gonna be opening a marine division real soon. Uh, here in the coming months, going to be able to service Suzuki's, uh, Suzuki sales, and uh, all kinds of other marine uh, division stuff. So uh, it's going to be a good deal for folks in Arizona. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. And uh, hey, good fishing, guys. Oh, bro, we got the New Zealand rods coming, bro. How did we forget about that? Let's go look at I haven't even checked them out yet. <laughs> Where are they at? Where are they at? Where they, where they, where they? Oh, bro. <laughs> These things are sexy as hell. To that nice little monocoque handle right there. Oh my gosh. I know Will's gonna freaking get all hyped for these, dude, with this, his favorite bait caster, the Zillion. Now on the Zillion rod, you can't beat it. I know they got, they got like 10 casting models. Let's look at a little spinning one here. Bro, those things are fire. Look at that, I love the cork. Just look at that, just beautiful. <laughs> those are fire. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to get a little shop zillion rod so we can all try it. Those are sweet though, man. Freaking, what do they got? They got a frog in one? Right there. Oh, 7.2 heavy, old frog rod. I like the short ones. I'm a shorty, dude. I can't be handling 7.6 and stuff, you know? Those are fire, though. Those are going to be in the shop real, real soon, guys. That zillion casting and spinning rods. So we not just the reel no more. We got the rods, too, now. That, that's a nice addition to the lineup. So what, how much were they running? 3.29. So we got that nice midpoint. Yeah, yeah. Daiwa rods now. Those are clean looking though, man. You can't beat that. Right there, boys. 
Dude, those are sweet, dude. I like the look of them. Oh, yeah. oh, and then that handle go crazy too. With the little cutouts in there, you get the fill for the blank and everything. I don't know if y'all can see that too. The handle's got, it's all sparkly in there. It looks crazy. Those are sweet though. I can't wait to try those out. Oh. Those are bad to the bone. God. <laughs> <laughs> I need the 130 pound leader for my, my two pounders. God damn, bro. <laughs> Jeez. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what else we got over here at Odawa? Kage. Don't sleep on the Kages, guys. Those, those are pro shop only. And we got them. Reels and rods. They're nice. Beautiful cork. They're really like a $500 rod for 200 bucks. So don't forget about those. We don't want none of this, the Lagunas. We don't, we don't mess with the inshore out here. We, we ain't need to worry for that. They got all the goods out here though. Oh, those are pretty sweet little J braid uh, spool ho holders. So your line's not popping out everywhere. I'll have to order some of those boys. Yeah. Well, you're you're left-handed. Right. Right. Just get like a slow-mo shot of me like spinning the reel. Super smooth. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> no one should be traveling. Or no one. So we've got all finesse, oh. right? Designed for forward-facing sonar and all that kind of stuff. Pick that up. Oh my, dude, that is ins It's like a feather. Yeah, dude, you can't even feel it. Yeah, incredibly that is lightweight. Insane. Instead of it being like with the Steez models, these guys have that SVF Nano Plus. These ones have Compile X. So it's that next generation of even tighter woven graphite fibers and less resin between them. Okay, check out that price point. Man, <laughs> this is the, for you bougie guys out there. This is it, man. This is it though. Top of the line. I mean. Carbon fiber guides. Take a look that, at the guide wraps. Not just that, the guides themselves. Oh, look at the guide wraps. Look at all that right there. Carbon fiber wraps. No that is thread. insane. Isn't that wild? Dude, I mean the way it feels, it's worth everything. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Credible, no, that is insane though, guys. At least three, uh, three spinning, one bait casting, and there's actually only uh, about 15 pieces available in the entirety of the U.S. No way. Yes. No so extremely, way. Extremely, extremely exclusive rods. Those are insane, guys. Those are <laughs> insane. Look at that. So you might not be able to get them at your tackle shop in the near future, maybe in the future beyond, but not, not hey. right now. Hey. But here's another weird thing to show you. Uh, They're two piece. No, are the spinning too? Yes. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick one up. Take the top off. It'll make it even feel like even more of a feather. Right? No way. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that on like the small. I got some swim bait rods like that. Right? But, uh, man. It's a very, very Japanese design. So these are the rods that Koya yeah. Fujita is, is killing. You guys, you guys know they're good then. That's insane. Well, yeah. hopefully they'll be available like yeah. eventually for us guys yeah. but for now those those are real limited those are insane to check out though had to show yeah. you had hey, to yeah. show you yeah, yeah. pretty well awesome, dude. whole night derbies these are coming in real soon guys night derbies wednesday nighters freaking sag canyon right there he's talking to justin kerr too so you got the light up eyes the light up ears and the tails all going to glow in the dark so i mean we do a lot of night fishing in the summer that's gonna be the juice right there, boys. Gonna be available real soon. I tried a lot harder in those tournaments. I gotta tell you, but, but, but really, I network and, and you know, one of Dalton, how you doing, bro? Good, bro. Chilling, dude? 
Freaking working? On the camera. I know, dude. Okay. Trying to get some content. Trying to be bro. like you, bro. Bro, I'm trying to be like you guys, bro. Fuck. You doing all right, bro? All right. Oh, bro. Yeah, because I was catching him at Parker on this thing. I've got you can do a little. I'll show him the Parker juice. Should I show him, Jay? Should I show him? All right. Be ready, bro. All right. I don't know. Do y'all y'all buy a pack of these and a pack of some finesse swim bait jig heads? And you go down to Parker Strip, all right, right now? Put it on an A rig. Yeah. It's game over. Hey, you're smacking them. GGs. And it's, it's GGs. I like doing a little electric shiner. Black is weird, but run those on the hooked ones. They smoke them. They smoke them. Those are available right now. CopperStateTackle.com. Right. <laughs> right here is fire. I mean, all the draw, custom painted draws. Right now, too, the spawn, that bass one. Freaking insane, boys. Those are all fire. All your custom painted provokes. Those are so cool looking though, dude. If you guys are wondering how to store your swimmers, get some of these, get a six cents worm bag and just stack those bitches in there. <laughs> Keep them fresh. <laughs> all right guys, we over here at the Bass Cat booth. Best boat in the world, you all already know, but uh, look at this beast. Look at her. She's beautiful, but if y'all want to see one, we got it. We got it down in Arizona. David's probably the only one out there with the 500 on there, so you'll see him ripping up and down Rosie, but uh, it's badass. I mean, y'all y'all got to come check it out. When we get into that new shop on display, y'all y'all love it, dude. It, the, these boats are insane, and then they got the new Caracal STS over here. And I'll show y'all a little for you tech guys that's coming up. They're coming out on these newer boats with the touch screen. So all your accessories, you can turn the lights on and off, uh, fan, your aerators. There's all your RPM, your engine, all that good stuff. The horn, I would click it, but I feel like people are gonna yell at me. Uh, and then coaling, you can coal straight on your boat now. So super cool features in these cats. I love mine and they're only getting better. They're only getting better. So you guys got to come down to the shop, check them all out, and put that order in. We'll get you set up with a new Bass Cat. I mean, look at this. Where are you going to get the lights? I mean, go on the floor. What other bass boat got the, the logo scanning down like we Batman out here and stuff? No one's got it. Make sure y'all check them out. Okay. Uh, that thing's insane, bro. Okay. Even this thing, dude. That looks so real. Yep, that one's done by the same guy that did this. All the mat, mat lures. Mat yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, the nice crank down. No, I just didn't get them ready. Have you ever fished one of these? No, no. That's the one. That's the only he one. He wouldn't let us sell it. He just sent it kind of as a conversation. Yeah. He actually, at our Texas show on Lake Cork last year, he got an offer for that number. No way. And he said no because the swim's not there. It's basically a prototype. It's just, yeah. I mean, that's insane, though, dude. Yeah. That, His like, detail work is just nuts. Just the paint job and just the work on his gills. Yeah, it's just crazy, and it's it, just bulletproof. His customer service is top notch. I can't say enough about Matt and his stuff. That's insane, dude. Yeah. That thing is so cool. <laughs> it's like I'm holding a bass. <laughs> All right, guys, we out of here. I'm sad. We gotta go. This place has been amazing, though. Oklahoma really put out this year for the 24 Classic. Uh, but it was cool. This is my first Elite Series event, actually seeing takeoffs and weigh-ins. And man, they, they do it right down here in Oklahoma. But uh, amazing time, checking out all the new Classic releases, uh, meeting everybody out here. Everyone's super cool, super amazing people all around. But uh, get my ass back to AZ, get out of the cold weather, and uh, we'll see you at next year's Classic in Texas. That one, I think, is even going to be bigger and better. But. Uh, that's it, guys. Peace out. Thanks for following the journey.